This is the News in Brief from the United Nations. In Gaza, where two UN-run schools received direct hits over the weekend amid intense fighting, the plight of civilians continues to worsen as heavy rain falls across the enclave. A tweet by the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, UNRWA, on Monday described the situation in shelters as unlivable. It said that Gazans had no options and echoed repeated warnings from UN humanitarians that nowhere is safe. Since Hamas's terror attack on Israel on the 7th of November that claimed around 1,200 lives with nearly 240 hostages captured, hundreds of thousands of Gazans have fled south following an evacuation order from the Israeli military. Satellite images of the exodus showed a mass of people moving across a landscape of shattered buildings, while photographs taken at ground level showed families carrying their belongings on foot and a woman dragging two babies in car seats behind her. According to the UN agency, more than 880,000 internally displaced persons have sought shelter in 154 UNRWA installations across all five of Gaza's governorates. Out of Gaza's 2.3 million people, 1.7 million are now displaced. To date, 104 UNRWA staff have been killed. The UN chief, Antonio Guterres, told journalists on Monday in New York that the number of civilians killed in Gaza was unprecedented and unparalleled in any conflict since he took office in 2017. In a related story, a top UN human rights panel expressed acute concern on Monday that beyond the Middle East, one in five children worldwide lives in an armed conflict zone, highlighting the need for ceasefires and a return to the basics of humanitarian law to safeguard life. The UN Committee on the Rights of the Child marked World Children's Day on the 20th of November, saying that the day had become one for mourning, given how many youngsters have died recently in armed conflict. The panel of UN-appointed independent rights experts, who are not staff of the United Nations, said that 468 million children live in areas of armed conflict and that they are dying in many parts of the world, from Ukraine to Afghanistan to Yemen. In 2022, the global and confirmed figure of children killed or maimed was 8,630, according to the committee. ABBA superstar Bjorn Ulveus has joined forces with the UN agency WIPO to launch a digital platform that helps musicians to be rewarded fairly for their work. The free-to-use platform is called CLIP. It features curated content from experienced musicians and mentors to help creators understand how to make better business choices in partnership with the Music Rights Awareness Foundation. The UN agency WIPO, which stands for World Intellectual Property Organization, said that although digital distribution is soaring, artists often lack the critical information they need to get proper credit. By early next year, the Clip platform will be available in six languages, including on a smartphone. ABBA's Mr. Ulveus said that the information would be invaluable to songwriters facing growing pressures, including from artificial intelligence-based creative content. Today it's more difficult to be a songwriter than ever because of competition, because of the complexity of the music industry itself. A tool like this is sorely needed whenever you have any kind of question about the music industry. It's all in here and it's being updated as we speak because the music industry is getting more complex every day with AI entering the scene as well. Bjorn Ulveus of ABBA ending that report. Daniel Johnson, UN News.